So you clicked on this video probably because you're wondering why anyone would suggest LeVar Ball to be anything other than a complete idiot. After all, this is the guy that thinks he can beat Michael Jordan and the guy that priced his son's shoes at $495. Those shoes for $495. Bruh. However, beneath the apparent idiocy is something larger at play, and believe it or not, there is some genius to the madness. This is MDJ, where we talk about everything NBA. What's up guys, my name is Mark, and I must admit, when I first heard LeVar Ball in his comments, I thought he was completely insane. And he very might well be. But what's also true is that LeVar is much smarter than we care to admit, and what he's doing right now has a larger purpose and a larger impact than we think. So first off, in order to understand what LeVar is doing, we have to first understand his goals, and his goals are pretty clear and simple. He wants to build a massive brand, specifically the Big Baller brand, using the talents of his three children. Now, per entrepreneur.com, there are three keys to marketing a brand. Number one, make an inventory of your skills. Basically, auditing what you're good at and auditing what you're not good at. LeVar Ball is not very good at basketball and it doesn't seem like he's very good at designing given the look of the ZO2s. But what he is good at is being himself and getting attention. And guess what he's doing right now? Being himself and getting attention. Number two, what are your customers needs? So the customers of this brand are us, sports fans, basketball fans, people interested in the Ball Brothers. And we as consumers of the media, want to hear interesting stories that prompt interesting debates. LeVar understands this concept and so that's why he's purposely saying controversial things to give us, the consumers, content to consume. Number three, focus on what differentiates. Again, LeVar knows that he needs to give people more reason to care about him, his children, and the big baller brand. LaMelo can score 92 points and have a viral YouTube video. Lonzo can become a superstar in the NBA, but that's not enough to differentiate them from other people who have accomplished similar feats. So LeVar, and thus the big ball of brand, has to stand for something different, something a little edgier, something unique. And he is pretty unique. When's the last time you heard someone claim they can beat Michael Jordan one-on-one? -on -one? LeVar Ball is doing exactly what President Donald Trump did, which is say outlandish things to garner media attention. And look, I'll be the first one to tell you that some of the stuff LeVar Ball says ranges from stupidity to irresponsibility. But as Eazy E says in the movie Straight Outta Compton, Well, hey, all publicity is good publicity, you know? In this age of headline news, nothing is more eye catching than I would beat Michael Jordan in my prime or Lonzo is better than Steph Curry. And like businessman Gary Vaynerchuk would say, attention is the only thing that matters in marketing. Again, wanna make something clear. I'm not here to debate whether or not this is good for society or whether or not this is quote unquote moral. This is just merely what LeVar is doing given the current context of how society functions. And look, the results have already paid off. While we don't know exactly how much the ZO2s have sold, with the amount of media coverage it received and the amount of support it has already garnered from celebrities purchasing them, there's no doubting that from a financial standpoint, it will be a success. Let's say for a sec that he sells 1,000 pairs of ZO2s, which is a pretty safe and conservative assumption. 1,000 pairs of ZO2s times $495 is more or less $500,000 in revenue already. Now forget the shoes for a minute. As ridiculous as they may sound, LeVar has already built a personal brand with incredible influence. He's now a regular guest on major talk shows on ESPN and Fox Sports. The guy created an account on Instagram a month ago and already has 255,000 followers, which is more than half of NBA players in the league. Now, I do think some of LeVar Ball's antics have been irresponsible and not strategically smart. If he wants to compare himself to Michael Jordan, fine, go ahead, do what you want. But when he compares Lonzo Ball to Steph Curry, that's a check that LeVar wrote that Lonzo has to cash. What if Lonzo Ball never ends up on Steph Curry's level, which is a pretty high level to achieve? Now you're putting unwanted pressure onto Lonzo Ball. I also do not approve of him saying that Lonzo will only play for the Lakers. I understand the sentimental feeling of having Lonzo play for his hometown team, the Lakers, but just saying that over and over again, especially to the media, only serves to jeopardize Lonzo's potential future with other teams. Look, bottom line is this, whether or not you like him, love him, or hate him, LeVar Ball is winning the battle that he set out to fight, and as hard as it is to admit, 
The guy is a marketing genius. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you didn't make it this far, I want to hear your thoughts on LeVar Ball because, look, he is a polarizing figure. A lot of my analysis, that's just what I think, what I think he's doing right, what I think he's doing wrong, but I'd love to know your opinions about this subject matter. And if this is your first time here on this channel, if this is an unfamiliar face, I'd love to have you on the channel. So make sure to subscribe, keep up with all the other NBA content that's coming out very, very soon. Other than that, I got nothing more to add. I appreciate your time as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Feeling kind of strange, feeling kind of off. Don't know what's really going on. I feel like something's up, and I can only guess the cause. It doesn't matter when, doesn't matter where.